Today I have sunflower DIYs for late summer and early fall. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own. Okay, we're going to start off with some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. These are all from the Dollar Tree. I have a pretty gold satin and then some wired ribbons. I got these from the thrift store, but you can get some similar to it at Dollar Tree and at other stores. They're just wall adhesives. And then I have a tag sign that I got from Dollar Tree that I stripped down. I had used it before and I stripped it down and I'm going to use it again. I didn't want to paint the background because I actually like the brown on this. So I'm just going to place these around here and there. Some of these stickers come separate from their leaves and some of them are attached. So you'll kind of see me pulling those apart and adding some different sizes in different places. And I do have some that are going to overlap on the sides. If you know anything about sunflowers, you know that they like to face the sun. So I'm trying to put them all sort of facing in the same direction. Like they're looking for the light. Okay, so just press that down and I'm just going to push it down over the edges and I will um, sand that off at some point. Again, overlapping here, here and there. Just seems to give it a little more dimension when you do it this way. And this almost looks like there's another flower somewhere else. Like the pattern continues. Now if you want to seal this, you can use any type of Mod Podge that you like. And I'm looking at some options here. We could trim this out with some ribbon on the bottom if we wanted to. And I'm going to use this to make a bow. So I'm measuring 16 inches. I'm crossing this bow over. This is wired ribbon. You can get it at Dollar Tree pretty much all the time. Um, at my stores anyway, so hopefully you can find it. It's really pretty. And you're just going to cross it over and then pinch it up in the middle. And that starts the base of your bow. Very simple. It's easy to adjust at this point before you have it tied off or wired off. You can adjust the length of your tails. And you can also adjust them just by trimming it up at, at a later point if you like. I'm going to start with this bigger bow on the bottom. It's the biggest, um, it's the biggest or widest ribbon, so we're going to use that on the bottom. And I'm just going to use some jute, tie that off in the middle. I'm going to leave my jute long so that I can continue to attach the other layers of bow on top. So here's our next layer. We're going to do the same process with the silk. It's a little bit slippery. It's a little bit uh, more difficult to work with because it tries to crawl out of your fingers. Just pinch it tightly. And then you're going to lay that down on top and go ahead and tie that one on. Once you get used to doing it this way, you, you, don't, you don't have to worry about your ribbons getting away from you. That jute is kind of rough and it will, it'll hold everything where it needs to be. You can always reinforce that with hot glue if you like or you can use floral wire. Then we're going to top it off with this one. And you can get this one almost all year long too, I believe, at Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to, after I tie it, I'm going to wrap it around to the back, tie it again because I want everything to stay where it is supposed to be. And go ahead and start fluffing that out and moving those loops around where I want them. And then we're going to trim up the tails. I am just going to put these on a slant rather than dovetailing them. Now you can do it any way you want to but it looks more finished to me if you do some type of a intentional cut. But you can leave it, you know, squared if you like it that way. Certainly whatever you like, whatever looks good to you. So now we got this chunky little bow, very rustic looking, and we're gonna go ahead and add it. I'm gonna feed one piece of that jute through the hole and then one over the top and tie that in place. I have left the original hanger there. I found that if you just do a couple of little loops with the jute, a couple of little knots, that it'll stay. But you can put hot glue on there if you want to. 
So here is my little hanger, and I was trying to decide if I wanted the knot hidden or on top, but I like it on top. It's more rustic, and you know that's my style, I like the rustic. So I'm gonna take this cute little mini sunflower, and this was thrifted. I got it at the thrift store. You can certainly use the ones from Dollar Tree. And just place that right in the middle. I'm thinking this would look really cute too on a clipboard. Dollar Tree has the little clipboards that are the, the brown color, that natural looking, almost like a cardboard box look. They have those and you could probably get away with doing it that way too. All right, I'm gonna take some of this curved lace trim Pulling on the pieces of thread is going to break that line so that it'll lay a little bit flatter as that's what I'm going to do because I want it to lay flat on the bottom. I'm going to add some glue and then place that right along the bottom. So if you didn't want to use this step, you wouldn't have to, but I feel like it is more rustic if you don't add it. It is more cottage if you do add it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to bring a little more cottage into my home, a little more feminine, and this seems to do the trick. It works for me. Then I'm gonna layer down this satin gold ribbon. It's a beautiful shade. It's a yellowy gold, like a wheat color. I'm gonna wrap it around the back and just tack it down. Very simple. I don't want anything to unravel or come apart, so this is just going to give it a nice little finished look. Alright, and because this has little holes in it and you can see right through it, I'm going to just put the glue right at the edge so that no glue comes bubbling through there. And you can see that gold right through the ribbon. I think that's a nice little surprise touch. And then you just press it down to make sure that it's got a good grip on that glue. And wrap it around the back and add a little hot glue. It's storming outside if y'all hear that thunder. Okay, then we're gonna just turn it over and do a little fluffing because we mashed our bow. And there's our pretty little cottage sunflower sign. Cottage sunflower tag sign. I hope you like this one. Pretty simple to do. And here it is hanging up so you can see how it looks. Our next project, we're going to use some wired ribbon. This is plaid. It came from the thrift store, but I think it came from Hobby Lobby. Then I'm going to use some more thrifted thread. This is not thread, ribbon. Um, some sheer ribbon and then I have some more ribbon on the side. I'm going to use this decorative paper, a hello sign, and then this came from the Dollar Tree. So this is a round from the Dollar Tree. I've got some gold paint here that matches the inside of that sunflower. These are the same stickers that we used on the previous project. And we're going to carry this over into this project which is going to save us a lot of money. So the yellow on the hello sign is not quite the color that I want. I want it to be a little more mustardy, a little more warm for fall. So I'm just going to go in here and follow that same painted area, the same shaded area, and go over that. And there's a little crack underneath the L. It's just a surface crack, but I do fill that in with some paint, and you can barely see it. And this was thrifted. You know, sometimes you have to, other people overlook things that appear to be damaged, but it's surface damage. So lucky for me, I know how to fix those things and I grab them up when nobody else will. So I just go on and do that and I did let that dry and add one more coat afterwards. Take the tag off and clean it up a little bit. I'm just using a little bit of sandpaper to just buff that out a bit. Then I'm gonna take my, this is just decorative paper. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna trace it under my round. And take my scissors and then trim that up. We're going to make a nice big, almost a semicircle, but actually bigger than a semicircle. And we're going to use this for the bottom part of our sign. 
Again, no painting necessary. I like the brown that's on there. We're gonna leave it just like that. So I'm gonna use just a glue stick. Use whatever you have. Jot certainly works great. Um, you can use Mod Podge if that is your adhesive of choice. But we're gonna use this because this is what I had by me and it works quickly. So for purposes of video tutorial, this is what I've got. I'm just gonna place it down and make sure that it's where it needs to be and take my wooden ruler and just press out any bubble that might be there or any wrinkle. And fortunately enough, there were none. I'm gonna start removing my stickers here. I was so happy to find these at Goodwill. I have like six sheets of it, really nice. And the, um, the image is beautiful. I'm just gonna start adding this on here. I'm gonna overlap it onto the polka dot part and I'm going to put some on the top part. You can put as many or as little as you like. You can also take your stickers and put them on the bottom section as well, if that's what you wanna do. But I'm gonna do something different on the bottom. So this time I wasn't as concerned about which way my flowers were facing. I just wanted to get them on there. Then I'm gonna take my sanding block. You can see that I have some that needs to be trimmed. And I'm just gonna go downwards and away. Down and away. And just buff off that trim that doesn't need to be there. I also like that it's given that white edge. Gives it a little more detail. It's just a little more rustic. This is so easy to do and you get the perfect edge. If you don't like that the white is showing there, you can always take some antiquing wax and fix that. I'm going to do the same thing on my flowers that are overlapping here. Then I'm just going to kind of scratch up the surface of those so they're not so shiny. They're a little more matte and they look like they fit a little better into the aesthetic on the sign. I'm just going to go over the edge of that paper where it meets the board too. Now that looks a lot better to me. It's subtle, but it works for me. So after everything is dry, we're gonna decide exactly where we wanna put the little sign. You can use the metal signs from Dollar Tree if you like and paint those. Okay, so let me show you how to make the bow that we're gonna make. So, I'm gonna use 18 inches of ribbon. I'm gonna go over to the mark that I showed you, the 10 inches, and then I'm gonna loop over. This doesn't have uh, it's a pattern on both sides, so you don't have to be real concerned about twisting the ribbon. I'm going to lay it down, and we're going to do six inch loops. You can see here that that made a six inch loop. I'm going to go down the length of the ribbon, pinch it in the middle, and just check to make sure that we have another six inch loop. See that one is on the other side. I'm going to take another one for this side, pinch it up, make sure that it's the right measurement. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We have four loops and two tails. So we're gonna just pinch this in the middle with a clamp and set it aside. We're gonna do the same thing with the Dollar Tree ribbon with the black polka dots. Pinch it up at 10. This time we have to twist because the pattern is only on one side. We're gonna do five inches for this one because we want it to be a little smaller. So we're pinched and we're going to twist. When you twist it, it puts your pattern on the outside and that's what you want. So there you go, five inches. Then we're gonna put this in here. So the polka dot ribbon, we're only gonna use two loops. And then the same thing with this sheer green. This is wired. With the sheer green, we're gonna do five inch loops, two only. And they're even, I'm just double checking. Now we're gonna put this bow together. So holding everything like it was in the clamp, we're gonna pinch these together. You're gonna to take a pipe cleaner, a piece of wire, a piece of jute, or a zip tie and clamp these together. So I did use a zip tie. I'm gonna start dovetailing my ends. I hope you like that very detailed description of how to make that bow. If you do, let me know because I can certainly take more time when I'm doing bows to help you out if you feel like you need a little extra help in the bow area. 
All right now I'm just going to trim this up where it looks right. I always have an idea of how long I want the tails to be, but once you start fluffing out a bow, you know, you, you know, feel free to go ahead and trim everything, cut things shorter, leave things longer, whatever looks right to you, feels right to you. And so that's what I'm doing with all of these. I'm giving them all a little trim and then fluff them out really good. So now it's time to fix our sign down with the lettering. Um, put the lettering on the back. Uh, I'm going to put glue on the lettering on the back side. I'll get it out in a minute. Got to work quickly so it doesn't dry too fast. And then flip it over, eyeball it, and put it in place. But you got to move kind of quickly or your glue is going, it's not going to grab, it's just going to dry on the back. You can use wood glue or whatever you want to use for this. E6000 if that's what you like. Oh, I used a pipe cleaner. I did not use a zip tie. My bad. Hot glue it down, and I'm just going to use one of these laundry clamps from Dollar Tree to hold it in place until it's dry. Once it's dry, go ahead and do your final little fluffing on your bow to make sure that it's exactly how you want it. I felt like it needed something else on the end, so I'm just going to take a couple of more pieces these are 10 inch pieces of this polka dot ribbon. I'm gonna put these with dovetails and then I'm gonna add them on each side of the bow. Really easy to do. My wire was sticking out a little too long on one side. <laughs> so, just go ahead and hot glue those in where they look like they make sense. And this is how it looks. If I would have had some wired gold ribbon, I would have used it. Y'all follow me on my social media. Okay, now Dollar Tree again. This is some Dollar Tree ribbon. I have some green and some brown burlap. I have some thrifted plaid yellow and orange ribbon. And then this one also came from Dollar Tree. It's a wide open burlap. These are thrifted sunflowers, but you can certainly get the ones at Dollar Tree. And this is a Dollar Tree wall adhesive. There's one pattern on each side, and they are really pretty. Very country vibes I'm getting from this. And this is a thrifted piece of sign that I got from Goodwill. You can use any type of plank, or you can use a long sign from Dollar Tree too. There's lots of signs uh, around the holiday times that you can get, like the elf sign and such, that are long and narrow. Just make sure that whatever sign you get, it's going to be wide enough to fit your flowers. So I've chosen to do the double one for this sign. And this is actually going to be a, like a porch leaner. It's just a little sign that you can lean against the wall. You can put it outside and lean it against the wall or on your fireplace, mantle, or you know, even on a, a cabinet shelf or something like that. You could also put a hanger on the back if you wanted to. All right, so I'm just gonna place this down. Be sure that you get out all the little white bits that are in there, um, the little sticker pieces that need to come out. Then I'm gonna use this wallpaper smoother and just carefully press this down on the board. If this is something that you would choose to use outside, be sure that you get some Mod Podge or some type of a spray sealer and put that on there to protect it and keep it from peeling off. So here are two different, different types and you can use a sponge brush to put that on. But to make the video quicker, I'm going to skip that part for now. Now I'm thinking of ways that I can decorate this sitter. And I've decided I'm going to use some jute. So I'm going to use some hot glue, take this jute, and just randomly wrap it around the bottom of the sign. Around and around we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. And I had a tangle, so I had to edit that part out. Now, we're going to glue the back down, or you can tie it, whichever way you want to do it. Gluing it's a lot simpler in my opinion. And then you're going to press that down. Protect your fingers, it is hot. Now we're gonna work on the top. I intentionally left this with a big blank spot on the top because I wanted to do some type of embellishment. You know me, I've gotta add a little something extra. 
So I'm going to layer up my ribbons. We're going to do brown on the bottom, the green in the middle, and then the plaid on the top. Dollar Tree has very pretty fall ribbons too that they put out every year, but we don't have any out at our stores yet, so I'm just using what I had, which is this thrifted ribbon, which looks fall enough to me. It almost looks like candy corn, but it does match the colors that are in my flower. Little hot glue, and I'm just going to secure this on the back. You could make this complete if you want. You know, if you don't want anybody to see this, I'm not selling it. Nobody's going to see it, so I'm totally cool with it looking like this. But you can certainly cover it up. I'll put some paper on the back and finish it up. Okay, since I used these in another project, they were clamped together. I'm just going to cut them apart and then start removing the leaves and trim down the stems. Also, you can use any type of sunflower that you like, but I like the color in this one. I'm going to make a little bow that's a little bit different and I don't think I've made yet on my channel. This is the easiest, one of the easiest bows you can ever make actually. I'm going to trim up some more pieces over here. These are all being cut at four inches. Some of these will be used for tails like this, folded in half fold it in half. Then we're going to dovetail the ends. I have three green and I have three of the silky wired yellow plaid. That's a big, 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 big description for that little ribbon, isn't it? Okay, and so in the green, we're going to trim that. But we are not going to do that with the brown. The brown is going to be a bow and this is what you do. You're just going to put one down in the middle and crisscross, make an X on top. So a minus sign and a multiplication sign all together. Pinch it up in the middle. Then you're going to use your jute and tie it off. Simplest thing ever. Once you get it in a couple of knots so that it is secure, you can go ahead and fray your edges a little bit to make it look nice and rustic. Right, so we're going to start working on the top and because the end of these leaves are kind of thick where they stick to the stem, I'm going to trim those down so they're not as bulky. They'll lay flatter and it'll be easier to work with with the glue because we're going to be slipping it underneath this ribbon. So it'll lay a lot flatter for us. We're going to try to make our life a lot easier. If we can't find joy when we craft and we're frustrated all the time, then it kind of defeats the purpose. So I like to enjoy what I'm doing. I try to make things as easy on myself as possible. So we're just tucking around the leaves wherever you may want them to go. I love the color on these particular leaves. This that bluish grayish green. I think it looks nice with the colors in that sticker. So then we're going to decide where we want to put the flowers. My stem's a little long, just gonna keep trimming before I get it where I need to. Add a little bit of glue and then tuck it in. I'm just pressing down a little bit to make sure that it doesn't fall out. And we're gonna take the next one, add a little bit of hot glue. And then we're going to tuck that one in on the other side, on the underside. <laughs> yep, I think I need more coffee, girls. I really think I need more coffee today. So here's our bow. I've got my knots in it, and I'm just going to trim off what we don't need and decide where we want to add it. And I like it right here on this corner. It's the simplest little bow. We're going to offset those little tails, fold them over, push them out to the side a little bit so they look like a V, and just layer them in there, here and there, wherever it looks good. It seems like a small thing because it's such a small area on a sign, but be sure you look at it from every direction. You know, pick your sign up, look at it. Make sure that you've got plenty of dimension and that you have, you know, 
a nice distribution of greenery and color and that sort of thing because it's going to be more pleasing to the eye when you're finished with your project and you don't have to go back in and add a thousand things at the end get frustrated with yourself because it's not what you thought it was it's your project make it the way you like it so I've just decided that I needed a little more yellow in here and I went and picked a few more pieces of scraps that I had this is just some scrap florals that I had over there in a bucket and I think they look nice with that how do you like that you could put a hanger in the back and use it as a hanging sign if you wanted to but this is just going to be a leaner for me see so I'm looking at it from all angles checking it all out now I've put this on the side wall here so you can see what it looks like against the other backdrop Excuse the crazy lighting in the corner. So what do you think about this one? This is project number three. This is our leaner, our porch leaner. What do you think about this? I like all of the projects because I think sunflowers are amazing. All right, here we go with project number four and our final project. This is probably gonna be the easiest one. I'm gonna use a thrifted milk can or some sort of a vessel. It doesn't have the handles on the side, but you know, you can certainly do this with a bucket and you can do it with something that you find at a thrift store, at a garage sale, whatever. This is for my wall sticker set that came from Dollar Tree and so is the sunflower. It's the other half of the set that we just used. And I'm gonna place it down on this pan. I'm just deciding what length I want, how tall I want the flower to go up, if I want some greenery on it. Main thing is the flower. You can put Mod Podge on here first if you would like to make sure that it sticks down. Especially if you have a real shiny surface because these wall adhesives are intended to come off. So, you know, they will kind of lift up if you don't seal them in. So you'd want to put something down on the shiny can or put some chalk paint on it. Put down your flower and then seal over the top of it if you want it to be permanent. Okay, so, but I'm not doing that because you know I like to reuse my things and you know, this is just for instruction to show you what you can do. So I'm just kind of centering that where it looks like it's standing up straight. Probably isn't. And then I'm going to press it down from the center outward with my fingers to make sure I don't have bubbles trapped in there. And if you work from the center outward, then it pushes the bubbles to the edge and they'll come out. And then I'm pressing down the greenery that's attached, so the foliage. And I'm just going to go around the bottom of the can there too. And I'm going to take my blade and trim off what we don't need on the bottom. Keep your fingers out of the way because these things are sharp. These are good, by the way. Um, a little lightweight in your hand, but they are very sharp and I have found them very, very handy. They came from Dollar Tree. I'm just going around the underside edge and trim that off. And it gives me a cleaner line than it would if I would cut it with scissors. So I'm just telling you here, just reminding you to cover that if you need to. So because this blessed sign here, uh, sticker, is sheer in the background, it's gonna go straight on top of this like it belonged in here in the first place. So I'm gonna take my little blessed sticker, I'm gonna hold that can where I think it would be centered and then decide where I wanna place it. And I like it here a little more toward the bottom. It looks pretty much centered to me, so I'm just going to lay it down gently and press it down. You can certainly use your silhouette or your Cricut and make your own little blessed sign or whatever you choose, gather or whatever. You could even use family, something like that. And I'm going to press that down. And there's my pretty little enamel can. I'm going to add one more detail to it before I put in some fall. Um, leaves and decor just gonna tie that on the bottom right around the neck 
I'm using the silk ribbon, but you could use jute and loop it around a few times. You could use any of the ribbons that you already have from the projects above. And I'm just going to tie that off. Y'all excuse my children, it's summertime and it is wildness going on upstairs. Just a simple bow here to tie off the top. And this looks very farmhouse to me. What do you think? A little rustic farmhouse for you. We've got a bunch of different ways to decorate using wall stickers in this video. So I'm just giving you examples of what you might want to use, what you maybe could put in there. These are a variety of little picks that came from Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. And of course, by Hobby Lobby, I mean Goodwill. And then I have these that I decided to use. This is like a seeded grass. And I'm gonna put these in the top. Just gonna bend it over so I can use it again. And I added some wheat picks that I got from the thrift store as well. And this is how it looks. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty nice. You can definitely get wheat stems for yours too and you can get them at Dollar Tree. These are uh, dried stems, but you can get the ones that are the plastic kind and they'll last you for probably ever. These, you have to really baby these real wheat dried stems, <laughs> but they're worth it. Which project was your favorite? I hope you come back and watch more of my videos and I thank you so much for stopping by. See you again soon. Bye.